Okay, hello guys. This is the second tutorial in the pen project. Tutorial two. Um, I'm going to carry on where we left off. So what we were doing when I stopped, we were doing when I receive any, uh, the... Hold on. The ball will ask, do you want the color to be a specific color, a random color, or a constantly changing color? So let's work on the answers. If the answer is equal to S, which is a specific color, we want it to ask... Ask what color do you want it to be? Then in brackets, we want to say um, PS in numbers. So you can do, you can say colors in words like red, yellow, orange, blue. Or you can put them in numbers, which I think is the scientific term. I don't know any, but the computer does. So it'll. So you can basically put any number, and that will be coordinated with a color and a shade of that color. Now let's do a random color. Hold on, we're not wait, we're not done with the other one. And wait. Um. Then we want to make a new color. Uh. I mean a new variable called color. In brackets, I'm going to put for any specific okay then we wanted to set the color any and the color the variable that we just set made to answer then we want pen color set to color any specific okay let's test that out any you can do a capital letter s or a lowercase s I'm going to put down the number 70. Let's see what color that is. 70 is blue. Okay, let's see. Let's. What happens if you put 170? No. 170,000. The color is yellow. See, as you can see, it changed color by the number that you put in. Okay, now let's do random color. If the answer is equal to R, which, me, which is an abbreviation for random, we want it to set pen color to pick random. One, two, let's not do one, let's do 50, or no, five, two, one hundred one thousand let's see that random this one seems to be a purplish pink let's do it again to make sure that it doesn't do that one now it's a green so it does change color but what if you want the color to change forever like whenever you move it will keep on changing that's the one that we are going to do now if answer, if the answer equals c which stands for constantly changing then we wanted to um set pen color no forever set, change pen color by 10 and but wait so we wanted to um forever change pen color by 10 and wait one second let's see that ah so it is working as you can see it started off with a purple 
then a pink, then so starting off with a purple, then a pinkish purple, then pink. So it's constantly changing, as you can see. Now, but it's the gaps are very big. Let's make them a bit smaller. So change weight one second to weight zero uh, point. Point is a full stop. Five seconds. Let's see if that works. Yay, it's working. And let's change, uh, change pe pen color by, um, by, let's say, five. Uh, let's see if that works. Okay, so it is working, but now the gaps are also still too big. So let's change it to 0 0.5 to 0 0.2. See how big the gaps are. They're getting smaller, as you can see, but still not small enough, I think. You can change it to whatever um, color you want to whatever um how many seconds you want it'll just it'll just change the um color it'll just change make the gaps bigger or smaller i'm gonna do 0 0.1 and i think that'll be small enough yeah that's good as you can see it's now making a rainbow that's what we that that's what we want. Okay, so um, let's let's um do this. Let's um do a check and and see what we've done. Let's see. Let's click random. Um, zero point. So now, when you click random, you put in a ra a number. Um, and it'll make a picture like this. Um, I. Why don't we make it when I receive random? Um, yeah, random. Um. Oh no! When I receive speed, um, go to random position. Glide. to pick random random um um let's see mr bradley in the x-axis how many numbers are there Okay, so we wanted seconds to glide speed of ball seconds to X. We, for that, we wanted to pick random minus 220. Um, let's make it 200 to 200. So it can come anywhere from the edge, to, from the left hand side edge to the right hand side edge. Let's do the same with the Y. Um, from Mr. Bradley, how many in the Y? Okay. Um, this Y is also the same. Minus two. Okay. Okay. Control. Okay. Okay, so when I receive speed, we wanted to ask a question. Ask. 
Um, ask, um, what is it now? Ask, um, um, where do you want your ball to go? Then after question mark, then after that, um, another sentence, um, the middle, the middle in brackets M question mark, a, a random. Position a random position R in brackets Hold on. R question mark or a a uh, specific position. Um. Uh, and then that one we're going to use the abbreviation S for specific. R is for random, and M is for the middle. Is for middle. Okay. Hold on. Okay, then we want to bring in two more, sorry, as you can see here, I brought in an if statement. We want to bring in two more if statements. Okay, put them one under the other. And put them at the bottom of that script. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so here... We want it if answer equals. We want in, want to bring in two or uh, three ants equals two blocks. Put them in this if statement. So I'll do those, and then we also want to bring in three answer blocks. Okay. If the answer is equal to, um, this one is random position, so if answer equals R, rem remember, it doesn't matter if you put a capital letter R or a lowercase R, it will still be the same answer. Then we want it to do pin up, go to random position, pin down, Set paint color to pick random. Um, glide speed of ball seconds to X. Pick, X would be pick random minus 200 to 200. And Y is it would be the same. Okay, let's test that out. Hmm. Okay. R. See, this is what when you do R, it'll. This is what it will do. Okay, let's do the other ones. Okay. 
Then if you press the... Okay, let's put that at the bottom. Okay, let's... If the answer equals M. So we want to copy the stuff, the stuff that's in the R, duplicate it, and put it in the other two if statements. We... For the those ones, we're just going to tweak them a bit. Okay. Put the ants, the equals to blocks, into the positions. Now, if answer is equal to M, M stands for middle, then we want it to um, do pen up, go to random position, pen down, set pen color to pick random, and glide speed of ball to X, 0, and Y, 0. Okay? Then if answer equals S for a specific one, S, then we wanted to ask a question. Remember, don't put the, uh, the ask uh, the question in the middle, in the forever loop. Otherwise, it will keep asking that question. So you want, to, you want to put it in the if statement, but not in the forever one. Uh, we wanted to ask... Um, uh, where do you want the ball... To go to. Okay, this will be in brackets. We want to do x x axis. This okay. Then we want it to. Then we want to make two variables, two more variables, and we want to call them um, a for rand. We want to call them random x axis, random x axis, and you want and another one random y axis. Random Y axis. Okay, we and we don't want them to show. So set answer. No, set um, X random X axis to answer. Okay, then we want to ask another question. That says the same thing. But with the what with the y axis. C control V. You can copy it by highlighting the question, pressing control C, then going to the other question and pressing control V. Okay? Then what you do is press is change the X to a Y. Okay? Then we want to variables, variables, set random Y to answer. Then, then we want it to, for after that, we want it to forever pen up, go to random position, pen down, set pen color to pick random, glide, um, Speed of ball seconds two for the X. We want to do random X axis. Make sure you don't get these confused. And for the Y, we want to put random Y axis. Okay. Let's. This is a lot of code, 
as you can see on the board. Okay. Let's test this out. Let's do the any. A specific color. S. Um. 705. Okay. Okay, so 1705 is is pink. Okay. Any R for random. They put in we they put in a number that is green. Okay. Then a constantly changing color, C. It's always changing and it's making a rainbow. That, I like, this one is my favorite one. The constantly changing color. I think we should change, um, constantly changing color. Change that by, when it changes, we want it to change by two. That's what I want. So it goes through every shade of that color. I, no, that goes, change it to one. Then if you want it to go to one, then it will change it by every, it'll do every shade of every color. As you can see. Okay, okay. Okay, so we finished the ones on any, so any works. Let's see if random works. So what speed, let's do. Let's do the middle, M. Okay, the middle works. A random position R. Uh, random works. Now let's see if specific works. S. Um. Can someone give me a random number between 200? Okay, I'll do 50. Five zero. There. Hmm. Let's try that again. Is okay, fifty there, and uh, I'm going to do um, one hundred and forty. So now it's going up there. So it all works. Now, as you can see, when you once you've in, you can't go back to the menu. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. If key, um, let's think of a key. If key M pressed, we've already we're already using space. When key um, M pressed, when the M key is pressed, we want it to broadcast menu. Okay, menu. M E N U. Okay. Then let's go back to um back to sprite one. Okay. Okay. Um when I receive menu Menu, hide, we want it to hide, no, we want it to show, looks, show, okay, we wanted to do that for all of them, when I receive menu, um, then we wanted to hide, show, I mean,
Okay, and with the last one, we wanted to event, no, control, no, uh, event, when I receive, menu, show. Okay, let's, okay. Also, when key M press, we wanted to broadcast M, we wanted to broadcast menu, and we wanted to, um, in, in control, we wanted to stop all. So we wanted to stop everything. No, not all. Others, other scripts in this sprite, and this, no, other scripts in this sprite. Okay, let's see. Any, um... Okay, M. Ah, one more thing. We wanted to erase all the pen. Okay, let's try that. I think this will work. Okay. Okay, let's see. M. Yes! It works. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Let's change the backdrop because I don't really like the just plain white. Let's change it to um. So we want the light, the pen, the brush size. I'm gonna change. That. You can change it to anything you want. I'm going to change it to black. You will, I think. Let's see if it works. Let's see if you can see. Uh, undo. Then let's change the inside of the um, sprite, the buttons, to a different color. Um, let's change it to... Okay, so that's what it will look like, the menu. This is the menu. Actually, let's... Undo. Okay. I'm going to change the font color to black. No. Okay, let's... I'm going to leave it as blue. Okay. So this is what the menu looks like. I think that's all. Um, maybe. Um, um, ball. Go to the ball. So I th think. Let me think. Huh. Um, I'm going to make it so that you can decide when, if you want to see the ball or not. When I receive any, want to duplicate that, any, or random, no, speed, when I receive speed, actually, Okay, so on the stage, go to the code, and when the flag is clicked, 
ask sing sing ask do you want to see or not see the ball to do you want the ball okay do you want the ball to be shown shown or hidden okay then we want to make a variable one more variable called um ball in brackets i'm going to put Okay, and we want to hide it. Okay, then um, set ball hide or show to answer. Okay, then when we get to ball, um. When the flag is clicked, event no, yeah, event. When the flag is clicked, control if two if statements. Um, two equals two signs. And two ball show or hide variables. equals um operators okay if ball hide or show i um i'm nearly done i'm nearly done um if ball hide or show equals um show if okay so if hide ball hide no if ball hide or show contains show duplicate then you want to duplicate that contain show duplicate um um okay equals actually okay so let's take those ones out then we want to go back to what we had before Equals show. Shown. And the other one hidden. Then we want it to show or hide. So if it's, if the answer equals shown, well, if ball hide or show equals shown, uh, we want it to show. If it equals hidden, we want it to hide. Okay, let's go shown. Just gonna confirm when I okay, 
I think I've got it now. Enter any... Okay. Okay, so that's what it will look like. So that's what it is, what if it will look like if the ball is shown. I'm just gonna change the size, cause that looks too big. Yeah, that, that looks better, there. There, okay. Um, there. Then, let's see hidden. Okay, so that's all for today. P please make sure you leave a leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We are now done. There will be no more tutorials because the project is done. And um, bye. Can we do